everything that's important to us. This is our chance to show people what's really possible. happened on the way to becoming my best self. Are you following me? I want you to go see someone. Nash. Just ask me what's going on with me. Why am I afraid to? Diet land. Oh, we're gonna talk about it? I just want to get your side of the story. I think you deserve What's up everybody, it's DJ Raymo, Power 1051. This is the Powers Industry. And the home of new music and entertainment is my man Ahmed. He's got our co host for today. And we got the talented, talented actor Mark Tolman in the building. Welcome to the studio, brother. Welcome, Welcome Mark. Mark. How you doing? Good. Good. Mark Tolman back in the house, man. What's going on, baby? Hey, I'm, I'm honored to be here. You know, I got love for y'all, so I'm, I'm, oh, We appreciate that. We appreciate yeah, yeah. that. Appreciate you stopping by, checking us out. You know, I'm sure you got a real busy schedule. We're hey, around man. doing I, films I, and I'm movies, TV. Like I said, I appreciate you having me. It's dope, dope. So let's um let's just talk to the people who don't who may not know who you are who are living under a rock. Uh -huh. Okay. <laughs> yeah. So let's talk about some of the things you've been doing. I know you recently did uh, the Rise. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah, yeah. So you know, just walk us through some of the stuff you've been in. So Rise with NBC, man, that was. I feel like a question I always get is, "What's your favorite project you've ever been a part of?" That was next. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but it's funny, man. I always tell people it's it's kind of cliche, but for me, it's usually the the thing that I'm working on right now right. because I feel like if if you're a true artist or, or most actors you speak to like if you're not about what you're doing or you're not enjoying what you're doing in the moment you're not gonna be really good at what you do so for me man that was a project number one because it was it was like the newest and, and best thing at the time for me um, that I was really happy to be a part of really proud of but also, I like people who don't know me. I have a, an athletic background. Like, okay. I grew up being an athlete my whole life. Played college football. Was nice. was in camp with a few NFL teams. Um, so when I got this opportunity, you know, to play this um, like gung ho father who was all about his kid going to play college ball instead yeah. of doing this this music thing. And then you know that was that was a way for us to butt heads, but it also showed the love and support each of us had for each other. Um, so for me, I was channeling my father right. doing that um, when I went through that same process. Um, but then it was very different too because I, you know, I wasn't dealing with that musical aspect and stuff that he was. Um, so yeah, Rise. Unfortunately, you said musical aspect. Um, well, in, in Rise, like there's a lot. Oh, okay, meaning the show. I thought you were in your pops. Oh show. yeah. Okay. No, no, no. <laughs> no. Again, that's why. I know who your daddy is. <laughs> your daddy, right? Um, but yeah, man, it got canceled, which um, was a, a shock, man. It's heartbreaking for you know for the cast and crew, but I feel for fans who really connected to something that really, really isn't happening, especially on network TV, where we were speaking to people of all cultures, backgrounds, sexual orientations, um, and you know, hitting it from like a home base, young perspective, um, which a lot of people don't talk about, like how teens deal with. Maybe All you were ahead things. of your time. Maybe you I were guess so, old. man. You, yeah. They, they weren't ready for it. Yeah, right. that, that's yeah. what I hope. Older execs back there were like, we don't understand this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and I don't understand how they could not because the show was based on kids who were, who were dealing with sexual questioning for themselves, kids that were, you know, all over the place, black kids dealing yeah. with racism, yeah, man. interracial relationships. It was pretty dope. It was kind of what kids need to be looking at. You yeah. know what I mean? Yeah, Especially totally in this time with all this craziness going oh on with our young people and kids dying. Like that was the ideal show. And they had some you got some premier actors. Can you name some of the actors that were in there? Yeah, man. Especially being uh, you know, New York based, Rosie Perez, what's her name? Oh, wow. Yeah, yeah, Rosie Perez. Um, Brooklyn, you know, Brooklyn girl. Um, and I'm, I'm, I'm a Brooklyn dude, we live in Brooklyn. I, I grew up as an army grad, so I've been all over Hawaii, Germany, Texas, Washington State, but I've actually lived in Brooklyn longer than anywhere in my life, so that's, that's kind of my heart at this point. That's what your family um, wanted to keep their feet yeah, in Brooklyn. Yeah, man, yeah. Um, Josh Radner, um, who, you know, was a, was a, a big name for the show. Mm -hmm. um, Ali Cravalho, who, for those who don't know her real name, um, she's Moana. From, from oh, wow. the Disney movie, yeah. Wow. Mm -hmm. um, so she, man, uh, an incredible young talent out of Hawaii. 
which, you know, like I said, I lived in Hawaii. That's, that's another place that's special to me. Um, so, yeah, it was, it, it had, and, and then even the people who weren't quote-unquote names on the show were wonderful actors, man. You know, these, these young kids who, in, in a lot of cases, were kids who had been on Broadway for years. But, you they, know, were, people, the, they were cream of the crop. Yeah, but the general public didn't know them. Right. And this was their time now. now. But yeah, man. On a major show. Yeah, so people really shined, and, and yeah, that's that's the devastating part of it. Um, but then I, you know, fortunately enough, I'm doing a few other things. Um, I have this recurring role on Diet Land, which is an AMC show. And AMC, you know, people right. people know they do great television. Right. Um, and funny enough, this is also kind of like that in that they're touching topics that a lot of people don't don't touch. Um, and I play this this guy Jake, who's in this polyamorous relationship. It's one of the, the lead characters played by Robin Liger, um, and you know her having two husbands is, is a funny thing, but <laughs> uh, <laughs> but it's also you know nice for me as an actor. Anytime you get to stretch and do stuff that you haven't done yeah. before, plus it's, it's just a, a really dope show, um, and people have, have really seen the ground. So you like the. So she got two side. Well, no, y'all. Well, it's weird. Y'all two side dudes. Yeah. Well, that's <laughs> that. In a true polyamorous relationship, it's not like side dudes. She's like, this is who I love. This is who I love. And why not have both of them? And why not be in a committed relationship with both of them? Um, which again, you don't usually <laughs> yeah. see that in, right. in mainstream television. Um, and I'm also doing a, a few more video games. Um, you know, I had done Grand Theft Auto back in the day, but... Um, when you say... What do you mean explain that to the people? So I do... Um, actually, Grand Theft Auto, I just did voice work for it. Oh, but, wow. um, these two coming up that I cannot name. I wish I could. I can't even name the company right. I did them for because the NDA... No, I got you. Especially for video games. is yeah. crazy, man. Crazy. You know, play are that. like billion-dollar businesses. Um, but for these, I, I also did um, mocap, which is just motion capture. So, you know, when you be in the tight suit and you have like the green screen wow. and you got the balls all over you to um to basically yeah, yeah to refract and reflect and so that they capture your movements um so in this case i actually got to play some characters um, oh so you're actually the yeah, characters you're not just the voice as opposed to just the voice right. which is which is exciting because that's wow. different from what i because that's what they do with the basketball games. Yeah, like they get the oh, players, yeah. they come in, they suit them up, and that's how when you on, that's how when you controlling them, they do the move. Yeah, they actually, that's you crazy. See Kyrie, you're like, wait, I'm not, this ain't TNT. This is, <laughs> this is a video game. Wow. Yeah, man. So I, I'm I'm doing. I did one project already, and I'm actually going into doing one this this week. How do you get jobs like that? How do you get gigs like that? Um, agency, your manager. Yeah, team? man. It's um. So most actors depending on you know what your focus is in my case I have a commercial agency for commercial things I've done and in most cases your commercial agency takes care of video game things okay. because that's usually um, the part of the industry that's associated with all voiceover work okay. um, and nowadays like all the motion capture work and then I have in the industry they call it legit agents who take care of your TV film and theater stuff um, so depending on the project, that's, that's what brings yeah, it in. Yeah, and they that's have to cool. submit you, and then you know, casting directors and producers have to want to see you. How, how long have you? For the, how long have you been acting? Like, I've been now. It's um, you got into ten years. Oh, ten years. Ten years actually. Oh, wow. But but you know, just like everyone, right. my grind has been so real. That, you know, when I got into the business. Um, so have you been grinding for ten years, or you just you started to hit it in ten years and it started moving? And how long have you been grinding? That's a great question. Um, <laughs> shoot, I'm grinding right now. Um, but when I started, I feel so fortunate that I didn't have to do that crazy grind that so many talented actors. Like I have friends in the business who, you know, have these great degrees have been established on stage right. and can't even find an agent to represent them. Wow. Um, and I was really lucky in that my first acting job ever, before I did any small theater or anything, um, was on All My Children for wow. ABC Daytime. And and that happened for me without an agent. So after How did they discover you for that? I was just at this workshop um, that one of the casting directors was teaching and he pulled me aside afterwards and said, I feel like you have something 
um, especially not being represented, so I just, I want to give you a shot. And, wow. And I went in and You were just it. at the right place I, at the right so time. That's it, man. I tell a lot of people, no matter how lucky or how how talented you are, there, there is going to be luck and blessings. And time and place. Oh time my gosh, place. that's everything. Um, so yeah, I was, I was fortunate enough to, to have that opportunity where agents reached out to me. But then there was a time like in the middle, I would say now if I'm looking at this 10 year career in the middle of it where things were hard, man. And part of it was with the recession, like that right. hit every industry. It wasn't yeah, just like the financial industry. Um, so jobs that I felt like I usually would be getting, I just wasn't getting. So I got certified as a personal trainer. I was doing it like, you know, hustling like That's a lot of people right. do. And then um, like two, almost three years of that, before I got back to a place where I didn't have any side job, I was able to focus back you know, on that. Yeah, focus back on just acting and like, you know, truly taking care of a family with this thing that I love. So I'm, I'm fortunate, Amazing. man. Yeah. So, so you said family, you married, children. Yeah, I'm married. We got two little boys. Oh, um, yeah, shout out Obi and yeah. Roscoe. Obi's our three year old, and That's Roscoe beautiful. is uh, four months old. Like, Today, yeah, it's amazing. I also read that you're a heavy uh, Trump supporter. <laughs> you, <laughs> what? I, mean, I thought, I thought so that you, <laughs> I thought you were leading the campaign oh, for Trump. Man. No, yeah, yeah, yeah. I just um, <laughs> I just came from a rally. You know what I'm saying? White power. Uh, <laughs> no, nah, man, I, that's talk about devastating. Shoot, I, I shouldn't even use the word devastated about like shows like ours getting yeah. canceled. What's really devastating is yeah. stuff yeah. like. This administration that's in charge of this country this is country, yeah. crazy. I, think I more, never thought I'd live in a time where, like, you have, especially being a father. Right, I was going to say, I think it's, it's more personal life. because you have children. Oh, my God, <laughs> yeah, it's more personal. I agree. And yeah, it's like was, when you hear these talking heads on TV saying, oh, well, it's, you know, a lot of it is airspace and people, you know, recording what they want to be recorded. And it's like, no, you got to be crazy. And whoever's saying that, if you're a parent, and saying that stuff, yeah. shame on you, yeah, man. Shame on you. That's I mean, cool. who like checks the pizza guy? I don't know. Like, yo, you pay for the pizza, <laughs> and he goes. Like, I don't understand that one. You yeah. know what I mean? Yeah. So was, even, was the pizza late or something? Was just I mean, I don't. Like, <laughs> yeah, like that shit was crazy. Like, what? What, what could have possibly checked no that? Because nobody yeah. stopped to the gate. Hey, I got the pizza. Yeah. Why are you sending him up in? You take it from the gate, give him the money, and let him go. Yep. And I think that's the saddest part. We all know that it's it's so deep rooted that they're going out of their way to to destroy people's lives, man, um, in such an unfair way. But yeah, as a, as a father, to see them family separated? Yes. Yeah, like, get out of here, man. That's crazy. And then you got people in this country, man, who are doing, the, like, he's working, he's doing, I don't, honestly, I don't know why, I don't know the guy 100%, but from what it sounds like, he has a respectable job, he's yeah, trying yeah. to feed his family. Mm -hmm. Even if he is illegal, is that the illegal person I want out the country? Absolutely not. No. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, exactly. I want the dude that's doing all the craziness, like those kids on TV. Yeah, you see what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, those are the kids that need to get up out of here. Yeah. Like, and I know. understand immigration is a touchy topic, but like, like you said, it's still humanity. You still have to be some type of compassion, man. Yeah, yeah, and that's that's what, what the world is missing, man. I, I hope like any time I make an impression on someone that it's like the the most forward impression is love. Like that's yeah. that's what I bring everywhere I go, man. No matter what it is, whether it's doing a project or, or competing, right, right. you know, on the courts or something. Like right, right. no matter what I'm doing, I I, I want to exude love. Right, man. right. How do you how do you balance your family and career? Like how do you, how do you divide your time? And Ooh, that that's work? hard, man. Because um, my wife busy. has has you know the typical nine to five job. She's in uh, college administration. Right. So it's it's crazy, man. Like you have to and, like, go on the road sometimes. For, like, yeah, I do. Film. Yeah. In fact, <laughs> we we were just talking about this the other day. Every like true vacation, because you know you have family vacations. But this thing we read said um, there's a huge difference between a trip and a vacation. Mm -hmm. Like a trip usually involves like some kids type of work. or extended family or yeah, or you're like going to out to LA but it's like, oh 
I gotta I'm shoot gonna take this my kids with me, but I'm gonna shoot this. Yeah, they'll so. be in a hotel pool. I'm gonna yeah. be off doing what I gotta right. do. They're having fun. Yeah, I know. Mean, I mean, I'm, I'm, <laughs> I'm guilty of that, like turning a, a little business work trip into a family trip. Come with me for a week. Yeah, yeah. We'll figure it out. <laughs> oh, we love dad. And they're like, where's dad? <laughs> where's dad? <laughs> oh, where He's is over that? there at the concert. <laughs> yeah, right. Um, Happens. But you know, yeah, that's 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 part of the business. Um, but then what we were saying with a, a trip versus a vacation, every actual vacation where, where my wife and me said, look, we're just gonna give this time to ourselves, right. actually do something for us. Like the last three to four of them that we've been on, I, I literally had to leave each one of them. Wow. Whether it was like, you know, a job that I knew was coming, but Didn't the shoot dates changed, um, or something that you know, I had auditioned for it, then had a producer session for it. But, you know, you can't count on stuff. you got to live your life. So right. Then you figured, get the call, you got to come in to work. <laughs> yep. And, and in our business, like, it's not like having a nine-to-five where you say, oh, I have these vacation days. Like, if you're not doing that work, you're somebody not else will. And somebody else will and that's in a second. second. Yeah. And that's what people don't get, like, when you're doing all this kind of stuff. Yeah. You know what I mean? And even... Those of us with, with the 95 doing the, the industry stuff, you go from the 9 to 5 and then you got this, you got to do that. Like, there's a lot of people doing that. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Do you have some advice for a new talent that want to get in, that wants to get into this industry? Like acting Ooh, and stuff? Yeah, that's, that's, a that's such question. a tough hustle. It's such a tough hustle, man. Um, especially with the example I gave you of people who have... You know, this yeah, and that degree, and, yeah. and then yeah, if you have a family, that makes it harder. But well, let's let's um, let me add on to your question. Would you recommend this this work to someone? <laughs> mm. I'm catch me on the right day. I'm like, yeah. I want me and me and Raymond want to become <laughs> actors. Do you recommend um, this to us? It's not for the faint of heart. I'll tell you that much. Like it's, yeah, it's never skin. Yeah, a lot of nose before yep. you get yeses. Yep, it's never as glamorous as it looks from the outside. You know, looking in. You know, from that like fishbowl that, that we're all in. Right, right. Um, because like you said it, Ramo, like I hear not just more no's, like I hear mostly no's. Right. Um, but you know, all all the public sees is the, is yes. the yes. One or two um, yes out of yeah, 100 yeah. no's. And I, to answer that question, if you love it, yeah, it's, it's for you. Right. As long as as long as you truly do love it, and as long as you know that it's not this cakewalk and it's not the glamour that you see on social media and on right. TV, it's like it's just like any business. Any you know, if you want to be a, a great, you know, person in, on Wall Street, like you, you have to know like I love crunching numbers because if it's just about money, like yeah. not everybody on Wall Street has money. money they, right. It might look like they do, but that's not the case. Um, or being an athlete, right. you know, people like, oh, these athletes get paid too much, this and that. I'm like, nah, you don't, you don't know what they do <laughs> when you're sleeping. You right. know what I mean? Like before most of us wake up, LeBron James has gone through two workouts mm -hmm. on top of having a family and like making time for his family. Right. So, um, but think about those athletes that don't get nowhere near that kind of money, the endorsement deals, who make like fifty thousand, and you sit next to LeBron. Yeah, <laughs> you know what I mean. You that must be, that must you sit here mad as hell. You like, yeah. and you got to do just as much work as LeBron, mm -hmm. and figure out how you gonna feed your family with this fifty because yeah. the taxes don't change. Mm -hmm. None of that changes. Yeah, Rent yeah. don't change. No, that's true. I mean, and then you're not guaranteed. Changes. They can say, "Hey, we don't even need you anymore, guy." You know what I mean? Yeah. Be nice. Yeah. Back to wherever, or you I get know, hurt. I know. Like this, you know. That's, that's, that's the thing, man. That like, especially having been a former athlete. There's so many parallels between sports and, yeah, acting. and, and acting. Like, it's, I experienced the same way, you know? Like, there are times where I'm acting across X actor who might be this huge name getting paid millions of dollars, and I'm like, man, we both got here at 6 a.m. We both, uh, you know, <laughs> said the same amount of lines. We're both, like, fully committed emotionally. But you're walking away with this. And he got a stunt, though. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. White bus. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I think that's just building your brand. Yeah. You should build your name up to a certain level. Especially level. nowadays, yeah. Everything is branding, branding, branding. Get your name up of value. Yeah. And then that's how you get charged more money. I guess. It's true, man. Yeah, you can be doing the same job, but, but like you said, your brand is is your money. <laughs> <laughs> what do you have going on this year, 2018 or 19? You got anything, any projects you could talk about other than the, the game one you can't yeah, talk about? Yeah, yeah, other than the game. Um, I mean, we'll see, man. Like, 
I, I try not to talk about things before they happen. I, I agree. Um, I'm a firm believer of that too. Yeah, Jackson. yeah. But I was uh, seeing just just this week for this upcoming, uh, they're doing a, a reboot of Man in Black, oh. um, which would be a cool thing to be a, a, a part of. And I was seeing from one of the, the agents for that. Um, and you know, they got some cool people attached to it already. They're, they're changing it over where it's not going to include uh, Will Smith, is Will Smith or Tommy Lee Jones. Oh, wow. Chris Hemsworth and um, what's her name, Tessa Thompson. Okay. One, they were they were both in the Thor um, joint together, and now they're doing this. And Liam Neeson, I think, is attached. He's gonna like be in charge of the UK right. division of, of the like Men in Black agency. Um, but yeah, man, I like there are a few things I have. Uh, I wonder why he, like, Will Smith wouldn't want to do that. Want to go back in it? I don't know. I think and, and one would assume that it was his decision, right? You know what I no, mean? Like I, when you are who he is, I don't think. It I was think he has, he has a he has a plan. I think he has a plan because all of a sudden him popping up on social media, all this yeah, media production that, came right? out of the blue, and I think he has something that we don't know he's going to hit us with. Yeah. You know, 2020, Will Smith for president or something. He's I trying to let the world know it makes that me he's very here. curious because he's he's always been so private, and all of a sudden, yeah. he's, and he's I, making I, it very public, and, and even it, his wife. Yeah. And it's produced. It's not even like, you know, it's, it's, oh, yeah. it's really like we need it's to put thought, this out, thought, out. thought out. Yeah. So he's executing something. I don't know what yeah, it is yet. Yeah. But for, even for, to turn down that, that movie, like, right. why would you turn down Men in Black? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah, whether you like it or not, like, that's it's, that was it's a staple a of your, your career. Yeah. 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 Did he turn down Independence Day the Resurgence also? Oh, yeah, I think so. I think he turned that down too. Well, that's crazy. That was a right. major. Yeah. Film, yeah, because the only person they saw in there was Vivica and she died, mm -hmm. but everybody else was, yeah, you know, yeah, yeah, that's crazy. Like, yeah, it's interesting. I don't know, I'll tell you, I mean, we're, hey. we're, we're on to something, yeah, we're two, three years from now, we're gonna talk about I'll, this. I'll put money on that, yeah. yeah, something's gonna happen because he's he's definitely planning out something, he's mm -hmm. painting out a picture. We don't know what it is yet, but there's yeah, something yeah. coming out. Yeah, he's on a campaign, they, <laughs> start, they right. started rapping, Remember the, yeah, the he's rap, he's being the cool guy to the world, and that. We never knew him. Most actors are like quiet and mysterious, mm -hmm. and you don't know, you don't see a lot of them. Then you see him on the screen. Yeah, yeah. You know, you never used to see Tom Cruise doing this or this one. Like they were just mysterious. You never yeah. knew about their lives. And yeah. all, and all yeah. Eddie Murphy's day, the same way. Eddie Murphy's like this. Oh, yeah, you stand in God, and then when you, you see don't him, know anything. I, about I actually met him one time, and I was like dummy. So I'm like, I'm meeting Eddie Murphy. Yeah, and yeah. Like, and I was like, Hey, how you doing? I'm a big fan. He's like, Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, what up? Eddie coming out the studio yeah. now. We're gonna get this. Yeah. You gotta be out. <laughs> no, but you, I mean, it's just weird how the people turn on something on that on the camera and then they go off. And yeah. It's like. Yeah, you realize they're, they're too. It's just, just been. Weird. Let me ask you this real quick. Is there any? Because in this entertainment industry, it's a lot of shady people. You know, some people are just really foul people, yeah, yeah. pretend and all that. Sure. In the, in the acting world, do you come across a lot of shit? And I'm not asking you to give me any names, but do you come across, okay. like, <laughs> funny acting, funny acting? You be like, yo, yeah, oh, man. we just did this movie together, no, and I, I see you, and then you like, yo. 100%. You know what's funny, at least from my experience, and I feel like a, a lot of actors would speak to the, to the same experience, is that there's the certain people who I have experienced that with where, you know, you work with them, you develop a relationship. Because that's a... I feel like one of my favorite parts of acting is that your work life, you know, granted the fact that you do have to step away from your family so often, when you're with your work, it feels like this family environment because everything you do is so intimate. Like when you have to emotionally connect on and have it play on camera is believable. Like y'all got to be a, a family right. unit of sorts. So no matter what project I've ever done, like everyone grows to be pretty tight on it right. and then, you know like you said you run into them a, a year later and they act like they don't know you and it's like <laughs> what happened you know, like, <laughs> we were like family just a year ago and in my experience when that has been the case it's someone who is not the the huge name it's right. someone who's like just Little under insecure. that bar and and you realize that it's just insecurities yeah. um and I pray that that is never read on me. Um, You're right. I don't you know what? I realize that. I mean, there's a lot of hate. I almost feel bad for it. Now that I've matured to the place that I am in my life, mm -hmm. instead of being hurt by it, I'm just like, damn, man, that's too bad. Like, I feel for you. Because it's, it's something deeper than just you 
not wanting to show me love. It's like that's your own issue. If, right. if you're not as big as you think you are right. and you act like you don't know me, but but I've never had that be the case with the the bigger well-known names that I've worked with. So yeah, I think that the people who are who are already established and know their place in the world, they don't have to. Nah, they don't have to do that. Yeah. I mean, like you said, Will Smith doesn't have to do yeah. that. He's having fun. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's like you're not really locked him. That's but that's really interesting. You think about that. Those those mid-level people that just act funny. Yeah. You know, and yeah. you're just like, wow, how could you even be like that after? Doing all this stuff. Yeah, yeah. Right now, it's insecurities. Yeah. Interesting, interesting. So, uh, let me ask you uh, any baby mama drama? <laughs> He's married. Who cares? Come on. We got Keisha in the next room. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right? Yo, that'd be crazy. Yeah. <laughs> you said, baby, you, if I have baby mama drama, no one would know. <laughs> That's when the acting part would come out. No, no, I don't hear about That's yeah. the mysterious part. Yeah, right? <laughs> That's the mystery. Yeah. It'll be on a, yeah. on a show with nah, No baby mama I'm messing with you, man. Yeah, I'm, 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 I'm going to see the best baby, baby mama I know. I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> it's like that just ain't the normal place here. <laughs> and they say, bitch. And you be like, <laughs> <laughs> I said, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> and then you start laughing. That's what that felt like. I was like, why are you asking me this? I know. Like, well, yeah, yeah, yeah. He seemed like cool dude. Crazy. Yeah, I'm the troublemaker. Everyone was like, nah, man, we go. Uh, anything else you want to promote or anything you want to talk about to the people? Anything you want them to know about you? Wait, I, I, I want to ask you, Dayon Davis, he, you retweeted something that you tweeted out. Who? Wait, what'd you say? Um, Davis, I forget. Dayon Davis, he retweeted something that you that you um, posted like two days ago. What was it? Oh, man, if I can't remember, man. I'm, I'm going to look it up, man. I'm going to get at you. Okay. Right. I know you retweeted it. You know okay. What, what did you yeah. post in the last two days? On uh, Twitter? It may have been... Was it, do you know if it was like political? I was about to say that was a political, political rant. I think it was a political. <laughs> yeah, it could have been. I mean, yeah, my thing, man, if I'm leaving people with anything, it's like what I alluded to earlier is that, like, we just need to show love, man. Like, the we world's a better need, place. Yeah, like Michael my boy, Jackson was uh, right. My man, uh, main event. You know, who, who actually I, I met when we were doing um, the celebrity, celebrity basketball, basketball game. Hold up. Did you run? You ran on my team, or you ran on the other team? I ran on last year. Yeah, I ran on on Chris's team. So, so we beat y'all this year. This last time. What? Right. You're a troublemaker. <laughs> it wasn't me though. It was It wasn't because of me. <laughs> he said um, there was four more of him. Nah, no, right. so we had three rounds. I had to get one before That's we true. tried. That's Listen, true. Yeah. that was the wet when we did it in Westchester. Yeah, yeah, y'all just. But I had, I had, uh, I had Michael Rainey play. Yeah, <laughs> he was pretty good. Yeah, yeah. You're sure. That's what I liked about those days. You're usually surprised, like, oh. Yeah, but you know, you know, you know, you know, y'all won the first time because he took, I have Wale, right? So I have Wale on my team. Yeah. So while, and then Chris comes over, he says, hey, man, and, and Chris is all quiet, all nice. Hey, man, you know, uh, Wale wants to play with us. I'm like, so how did Wale all of a sudden decide he yeah, wants yeah, to yeah. play with y'all? And that's because Chris went over there with yeah, that, hey, man, you know, know, I'm a big fan. And he's looking, he's like, yo, this is Chris. Who's up? Right? He might say, oh, so do you know what team playing on now when you playing with us now? Took a jersey or switched up on you, right? Yeah, and then he get, and you know, I have some. You know, rappers are, are always fans of athletes sports and vice versa. Yeah, so it was, was like, wait. And you know, I had J.D. Kiss. He's like, yo, J. J. Kiss was like, yo, you don't need him. <laughs> <laughs> you know, yeah. Jay hits this long three, and I'm excited. After that, doesn't hit nothing. I was gonna say, and I bench him. He's like, yo, they. And I love Jay because that's just fact. Yeah, I bench Jay the kids. I love him. Like, I had the best. Yo, because I knew he was in the club the night before, yeah. man. He was coming in. He hit. And he he hit this three. I was like, yo, because yeah. he does play ball. Yeah, yeah. After that, he was just bombing, yeah. and I pulled him. I was like, yo. <laughs> yeah. He was like, all funny. He yells out to the crowd, they need me, and I was like, yeah, for the next remix. You know? <laughs> yeah, it's fun and games, but we it's still want to win. Uh, but yeah, main event. I I was just thinking about something that I like retweeted. Um, he pushed this new thing saying, uh, I think he called it a uh, positive rap challenge, like hashtag positive rap challenge. And he's saying like, you know, no matter how thugged out or like, you know, politically forward or you know the the conscious rappers you talk about, like no matter where you sit on that spectrum, mm -hmm. he was like, I want people to spit bars about like love and like right. you know putting the guns down and this and that so um i just want to leave people with, with knowing like yeah yeah none of that stuff you makes know, you the kids need that the kids yeah, need some type man. of guidance they have to yeah. 
Like this is it's, we're living in really sad yeah. times, man. Yeah. Bullying kids, you know, and it's sad what happened to that kid. You know, got stabbed up, oh my gosh, mistaken yeah. identity, and then you know the gang sends a sends an apology. They're like, yeah. "Yo, sorry." Like, what do you mean sorry? Late, man? You know, you just took some kid's life, yeah. and they do look identical. But either way, no matter what that other dude did to them, man, he yeah. didn't deserve that. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah. yeah, it's about like, I mean, people just take for granted the importance of life. Yeah, life, <laughs> life is not. You're not God to take someone. Oh nah, never, man. But yeah, and, and you know, follow me on social media so you know what's what's coming next. Because like I said, I can't say. Let's get everybody your social media. Yeah. Wait, one more question, and then I'm gonna let you go. Yeah, yeah. Roseanne Barr. What are your thoughts on on that? Do you think that it was? It, do you think that she should have lost the show? Oh, absolutely. Or she deserved it. Okay. She absolutely. No, because some people are conflicted over. No, you're They're right. saying you're right. that you know it was that that's who she is, yeah. and that should have nothing to do with the show. But it's like, I and mean, then she's done stuff for. I've heard she's done stuff for people of color and stood up, and yeah. she has in the past. But I don't. It, that could have been a front because you right. know what I mean. And here's the thing, and and I do understand that side of the argument when people say it's comedy and like your personal life right. shouldn't necessarily have that strong or like a direct effect on your work life, but. You also have to adjust and adapt as an adult. And like, this is a new age we live in. You know what I mean? This ain't 20 years ago. Like, you have to know that yeah. social media You're not behind is, closed doors that, anymore. Yeah, that whatever you're saying and doing is probably caught on camera or on tape. And, and it's a reflection of who you are. Yep. And people are not going to like it. And that's yep. when you lose your deals. Yeah, for real. Because even when I, when I joke about stuff, like, whatever I, I'm joking about, and, it, and I don't know, maybe someone will say something different who doesn't know or care yeah. for me, but I feel like anything that I put out, even when it's in a fun, playful way, is not meant to harm people right. or like or offend people to a to a point of hurt. Right. Um so yeah, her losing that man, I'm she asked for that one. Yeah. <laughs> right? There is nothing about me feeling sorry for Roseanne. <laughs> Let's give everybody all your social media. Yeah, it's just it's just my last name and my first name, Tall Man Mark. Um the across program. the board. Yeah, yeah. Tall man. <laughs> Yeah, I feel like, you know, it's got a good ring to it. It's right. easier to remember. Um, so, yeah, check me out, man. That's what's yeah, you'll see what's going on eventually um, as far as the things that I can't speak on. Okay. So, yo, <laughs> you're going you're gonna to put out that, uh, that future disc record? Yeah. <laughs> we got the booth. We got yeah, bars. Yeah. We got yeah. bars, man. Next, next time, time I'm, I'm, I'm going to have to study up. And, uh, <laughs> next time y'all have me. We got a yeah. Trump verse. And, and, and I'll have bars, and I'll, it'll be like right on my phone. I'll, I'll have paper. I, I can't freestyle. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. As long as you get it done. Yeah, so yeah. Good, man. Well, well, thank you for coming out, man. Appreciate yeah, it, thank man. you guys. I appreciate really appreciate it. you. Good luck, man. Yeah, I appreciate you. Thank you.